Hi. I am Jenny. Salesforce Consultant at Cloud Analogy Soft Tech. Today, I am going to give a brief introduction to employee communities, so, let's start with the topic. Salesforce Communities is an online platform that empowers rich joint effort between workers, clients, partners, suppliers, and merchants. Organizations can make completely marked open or private groups that interface individuals specifically with each other, and with relevant content, information and business forms. All those people who are essential for completing the business goals that are set by the organization can collaborate with each other. The company enhance their business by using Salesforce Community. Salesforce Community is a great platform for sharing information and collaborating with the people who can help the company enhance their business by using Salesforce Community. All those people who are essential for completing the business goals that are set by the organization can collaborate with each other. Empowering employees with Salesforce Communities. Keep your employers connected. Salesforce Community Cloud sets a new standard for online community platforms. Connect all your employees to critical company files, information, experts, and apps with employee community from Community Cloud. Employees now can easily engage with their colleagues and experts within the company and get answers fast. They can company updates on time and stay connected with their team. So let's talk about different types of communities in Salesforce first point is internal community. The second type is external community. First is internal community. They can work to connect their customers with each other online and offline through their online platforms and by hosting live events offline. This is internal community building. Second is external community. External community is created for the users who are not directly part of the organization. They're connecting people through a common interest, not the brand. This community is loosely tied to the company, but really focused on a common interest. Salesforce Communities is an online platform that empowers rich joint effort between workers, clients, partners, suppliers, and merchants. Organizations can make completely marked open or private groups that interface individuals specifically with each other, and with relevant content, information and business forms. All those people who are essential for completing the business goals that are set by the organization can collaborate with each other. The company enhance their business by using Salesforce Community. Types of Community User Licenses the divided community user license is basically into two parts which are as follows. Internal user license. Employee community is an internal user license which has access to 10 custom objects and tabs. It also has access to accounts and contacts. External user license. There are three types of external user licenses which are as follows. First is customer community. This community is best suited for the organization which has a large number of external users. A customer community can hold up to 7 million users. Second is, Customer Community Plus. This community is best suited when there are an unlimited number of logins for managing customer support. The third one is, Partner Community. Partner community is best suited for B2B communities. The users of partner community can read, create, and edit the Salesforce standard objects such as accounts, contacts, and assets. Partner community users also have access to send email and workflow approvals. Benefits of using Salesforce community Improved services Salesforce community will help the organization in connecting with the customers, therefore, it would be easier to understand the customer requirement which will result in providing better services to the customer. It enhances sales. Because, by using Salesforce community, it would get easier for the employees, distributors, and resellers to communicate with each other, therefore it will drive more sales which will eventually result in more profit for the organization. Now let's jump to the section where you can actually create a community for your employees. 
In this part, we will cover how you will create a community, adding tabs to the featured lists and community, adding members to the community, viewing global header, so that you can switch community within Salesforce organization and finally activating Salesforce user community. Creating Salesforce Community For creating communities in Salesforce you need to follow the following steps. First step is, go to Setup. Then, enter Communities and Quick Find box. Third step is, enter all communities. Fourth is, click on New Community. Then, choose a template. Sixth, give a name to your community. Seventh is, provide a unique URL for your community. And last, click on Create Community. Once you are done with the above you will see, the following message on your screen. You can also customize community according to your essentials like adding tabs to the community. If you want to add tabs to your community for accessing the Salesforce records then just follow the steps. The first point is, go to your community then, click on build. Second is, click on the page structure. The third is, click on the navigational menu under template header. The fourth point is, name it, and select the type as Salesforce object. The fifth point is, select the default list view and also, tick the checkbox click on it. The sixth point is, click on publish changes, adding members to the community. In Salesforce users community and organization can add the list of members or users to the community according to their needs. The organization can also provide them a certain level of access to the Salesforce organization. The level of access will depend on the profile or the permission set to which the user belongs. So following is the process of adding users or members of the Salesforce user community. The first step is, go to community management. The second step is, click on Administration. The third step is, click on Members. The fourth step is, select the desired permission set. The fifth step is, click on Add. Last sixth step is, set the profile permission so to give access to your Salesforce user community, set to which they belong. In Community next is, Viewing Global Header. Salesforce has provided this feature of view global header using, which we can switch to our community directly from our Salesforce organization. For using view global header in your organization the following steps are. The first step is, go to setup and type profile in the quick find box. The second step is, click on profiles, then go to system administrator profile. The third step is, click on edit then go to administrative section. The fourth step is, check view global header checkbox after that save it. After that, you can easily activate Salesforce users community. Now even though we have added users to our community, but still they would not be able to access it, because we have not activated our community. So to make sure that all the users that we have added in our community can view it we will have to first activate it. The process of activating the Salesforce users community is very simple. Just follow the following to activate your community. The first step is, go to community management. The second step is, click on administration. The third step is, click on the settings. And the last is, click on the activate community. Just click on OK when the message pops up. After completing the above steps your Salesforce community will get activated, and, all of the associated users will be able to access the community now.